songs. I'm moving my fingers on the black and whites and singing. That's a lot easier, at least for me. But um, so I'm going to do two pieces, one short, one not as short. The first one I want to do is, um, it's a piece I wrote about my parents. I'm 34, they've been together for 40 years, they've been married for 29. That should sound like strangely funny math to some of y'all if you did it. Um, my sister is nine months and 25 days younger than me. And we don't have the same parents, if you understand how that all went. But they got married and it was dope. But this is, um, <laughs> this is a poem called Part in My Eyes from when they were just friends and how that went in my imagination. Part of my eyes, can't say I didn't mean to stare. I just didn't mean to get caught out there. The ump called foul, but I know the ball stayed fair. Then the chump played it down, but I'm all there on this platonic roller coaster that hit a romantic plateau. You can see for miles and run them too. I said, our platonic plateau has fallen from view. So I can see for miles, but I'm running from you. I said, our romantic roller coaster has just looped the loop. So I close my eyes and I run. It may sound like I'm out of breath. It may sound like I've got nothing left. It may sound like I blew up my chest and my heart exploded once the lock eroded and rust decayed the bars of the cage. But that's why the robins sing. But inside of their box where there would be a ring is just another box with another lock. Another rain in another Arab spring that hasn't sprung any Palestinian prisoners. So part of my eyes when it seems you can't interrupt my gaze. If my eye never falters every time my foot strays. The man who know, feels it knows the cost that he pays. But for the man who prays, sometimes it's a toss up. So even though you swear the key to the walk up that houses your heart is in my pocket. Even after all that walking, my vision blurs and I'm blinking back tears. Dream deferred can't restore years, and it's only a head start if we're running a race. And not to be obvious, but what about all the different ones? Because even in 2014, that still counts. Making beautiful monsters with monstrous smiles and identity crises. What's the equation? Dates, $200. Rings, $2,000. College, $200,000. But family's priceless. So part of my eyes round as saucers. I just really never considered what I offered. This one started off as a song, but um, I'm just gonna read it to you, as if I can find it. It's called Long Lost. It's a semi-true story about somebody that I knew that I grew up with, that I lost touch with after I went away to school. And um, when I got back, she wasn't here anymore. Long lost, like a kindergarten best friend. Long lost, like the stress when you're resting. Long lost like the allure that tests men. Shorties let their chests win battles to progress sins. In the progression of days and through this information age, people rage while the men get arrested. And so the youth is delayed when they get tested and they can't make the grade, so the dreams remain long lost. She had big dreams of going to med school and working at the clinic that her school was next to. She loved the hood because she knew that it could bless you when book smarts make what hood smarts is special. Her brother walked with her because he had a hood wrap that functioned as a comforter, protecting her goodness. Not out the woods yet, but she was a good bet to be the one to make it. And daily they're embracing to go off their separate ways. He to get lifted before he start his trouble day. Wishing he was gifted, just like his little sister struggling. Cloud and sun rays, but you could miss it if you refrained from looking up where he pointed his gaze. And some misfit high off crack cocaine, I frisked him. Decided that he wanted his chain, and in a minute, the young man was laid out in front of that clinic. And now he's long lost. The mother mourn, shorty's holding it together cause at the loss of her firstborn mind getting better. They're trying to weather storm clouds but seeming that it never comes around, now, then, or forever. She got a letter from a good school that she had gotten in but she's cool cause she knows they ain't got shit. And how she even get there without whip, without chips, no pops or uncles that could give her a lift. Plus, who gon' wash the dishes when her mom's gets committed? She see her vision, swifted, sw uh, she see her vision switching and shorty ain't forgiven. 
She's only 17, but now she's grown and risen because she's trying to get rent cream so she could pay the rent when it's due on the 17th. See, she got an extension. Her story was convincing, but now she changed the mission. Her history's been slipping in math too, and the path too, when she walked past the clinic that's now represented long lost. She was bad even in ragtag gear, and even though she had mad suitors, she had picked a career. So then she went stag to the dance of life and didn't care to be some cat's wife. Only thing I need is the pipe, is what she was known to say. She cad like a player. First she wanted to be a doctor, now the doctors can't save her. Cause she got AIDS from that careless behavior. Lord, she could have used a savior. And I miss her. Peace out. Give it up one more time for Kenton Williams, y'all.